the 24th September 2018 harvest moon's out I just did a video because one of my first tattoos was a bat a moon and a bat but he's like I'm gonna make it the harvest moon because that's the you know man, blah, 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 blah. and it's you know October is right around the corner I'm like cool so when he did it it looked it doesn't look like a moon to anybody they're expecting gray and I'm like no this is the harvest moon like no dude it's a sun you got a sun bat <laughs> it's a sun bat <laughs> I hit a lot of people. I hit a lot of people in the 80s, man. And 90s. That was no bueno. That was not funny to me either. At all. So, <laughs> screw you all. Go outside tonight, wherever you are, and look at the damn harvest moon. That's what's on my arm. And it's faded now, so it looks better. But it's in this Where's Waldo friggin' tattoo, so... So I got Daffy Duck here, a sword with a skull, TCB, you know, taking care of business, Elvis, that's messed up in there, and that really great looking dragon, all you can see is the cool wing, because I, I think I told the story, I was in Utah, and this guy, I was going to get some beer, I was still drinking back then, and, uh, I was uh, getting two cases, because that's what I needed, because their alcohol is half the level as it is here, and uh, he's like, dude, so you, uh, you going to watch the fight? I'm like, the Tyson fight tonight? I, 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 don't, I don't think I can get it at my hotel. He's like, come over to my uh, tattoo shop, we'll watch it. So I go over, and he's like, hey man, let me check out your tats. I had a few. I go, I know what I'd like is fire kind of flames linking it all together he goes well, I can do that so he's doing it and he's we're watching this is the fight where Tyson bites the ear off of that whatever his name was I can't remember but that happened he's like whoa we're all tripping out and they keep showing it and drinking 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 I I pounded like 15 beers he's like dude you gotta stop you're bleeding like a freaking stuck pig I'm like what and I was just, I was coming out. So he stopped for a while, so my blood could uh, thicken back up. And he, but he really put too many flames in. And then I went down to this place in Hollyweird. It wasn't the uh, Sunset Strip tattoo. I only got that one and and that one there. This, none of the, all of this is. Uh, that's a guy I learned how to do it in prison, so he did it for me for forty bucks. And that was done at some place. That's my Ah what one day. Firehawk. Cherokee. It's my uh, grandfather gave me that name. He was Iron Hawk. This is just This is tattoo night, isn't it? So I drew this drunk with a pen in a mirror, and then I had the guy tattoo it on to me. The same guy that did this. You know, a little homemade thing. He did that, and then this is kind of a mess, but it is what it is. I think big, ta oh, big tattoos. The older you get, they're all a mess. This isn't. This is perfect. Look at that rat fink. That looks brand damn new, and it's about. It's almost ten years old. It's about seven years old. Uh, so there you go, Harvest Moon. So that's what my jam will be called tonight: the Harvest Moon Jam. Oh, so I read, I bought that Bob Daisley book for fact's sake, and uh, I never read it. So I've been reading it, because I've been doing these things on Randy and stuff. It's just like, everybody's rediscovering that video, and they're getting in touch with me to do interviews. And I'm doing a podcast tonight. I did an hour and 20 minute interview in the beginning of the month. It's on Bulldog Radio. They already played it on a station in Sheffield, I think. And I can't even listen to it. It's so long. It's really long. I can't hear me talk that long. 
But, and I, you know, so anyways, that's happening. And, and of course I got this, and I'm trying to decide on knobs. I'll probably go with these and keep this on my main volume. Because these are really cool, these uh, custom black and gold. So that'll be for my main volume, and I'll just keep those and just clear ones on there until I get another one of these, which is just laying around. I've got thousands, well, hundreds of knobs. So I just gotta find another one. I don't have to buy it. So I'll jam for a few minutes, and that's it. <laughs> That's right, so <laughs> I bought a bass in the 90s that the guy told me Bob Daisy played. And I'm like, really? And I go, he played it in Ozzy? He's like, yeah, on the Bark of the Moon tour. So I got hold, I'm on, you know, Twitter, and his Twitter doesn't really, but he's got a website, and he's got a Facebook site. And there's a lot of people saying a bunch of stuff. So I thought, I'm going to shoot him a message. Ask him about the bass. So, Friday night, I think it was Friday or Saturday, I just said, dude, Bob, you know, I read that book. and If you don't know anything about Sharon Osbourne, you will hate her after this. I already dislike her immensely. And my ex-deuce wife, the second one, was their private uh, flight attendant. And... They go together very well. They're very all they're about is materialistic crap, and how much money can their man bring in for them? And luckily for Sharon, she's got a puppet that she can manipulate. And the guy's a friggin' Ozzy's just a, a doofus. He's a complete idiot. And if it wasn't for Randy Rhodes and Bob Daisley and Lee Kerslake that. But that did those two first albums never would have made it. He never would have made it. So all the little bits that I got from Randy, all the little bits I got from other people, his family, people that worked with him, it all makes sense now. And it's a really sucky picture that Sharon could give a crap Randy was killed on the 19th of May. On the 20th, she was calling around for guitar players. That makes me sick. So I think we should start the screw Sharon Osbourne or Sharon Arden fan club or something. Because that bag of crap couldn't care less about Randy. She acted like it. But who was on Letterman a couple days after he died? Ozzy. Because she pushed him out there. He didn't want to do it. He was sad that the accident, which I, you know, happened. Because that guy, the pilot, Acock, just call him a cock. Uh, I didn't know his wife was in the bus that day. So she was standing at the bus. He had Randy in the plane, Ozzy in the bus. The guy's suicidal. He's been doing coke for three straight days. Think about it. 
That's depressing. Let's get on with, uh, what was it? Moon. Uh, whatever moon I'm, we're talking about. The uh, Harvest Moon Jam. Ready? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
set up yet I just I adjusted the truss enough to where it's playable so I'm putting new strings on I called the company uh, that sent this to me told them that the toggle was broken that I had to replace it and they're like no put the broken toggle switch back in was sending you a new guitar today I'm like don't send me a guitar I'd like this one I've grown to like it he goes, really? I go, dude, I got like 120-something guitars. This isn't my first rodeo. This isn't a big deal. I just wanted to let you know that somehow the toggle switch got crunched, but it's no big deal. I think they're Audio Pro. I think that's the name of the company. And they got, he says they sell 20 of these a week. So obviously I'm not the only one that's uh, liking this. He goes, they're really surprised how popular they are. I'm like, don't be. These are incredibly made guitars. Because they're just as good, if not better, than the Gibson in every way. There's no slouchy work on this. Plus, look at, in a Gibson, you can't get down as much up, you know. It's not 24 frets, but how many 24 fret gives them the less balls are there? I mean, the new ones, but. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Machine. The new Michael D. Metal Machine. Always rose, buddy. <laughs>